Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is actually finding resistance along the exact level of resistance that I was talking about just yesterday on the channel. And this is actually really important for you Ethereum holders out there, because if we cannot get above this level, we could be in for a bit of short-term downside price action moving forward just in the short term once again. So this level is a significant level for Ethereum moving forward. And not only that, I will be giving you my Ethereum price targets in this video. And also, I'll quickly update you guys on the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart just here. And towards the end of this video, I will be covering Chainlink for a lot of you guys that have been suggesting Chainlink because this right now is actually one of the few altcoins that I am currently accumulating in around the current levels. So make sure you're watching the whole video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And if that sounds good to you, just before we jump into it, make sure to drop a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And yeah, as I was saying in my last one to two Ethereum videos, just back here, I was expecting some resistance to come into play at exactly 2,200 US dollars, which is exactly where we found resistance right now. Because when we're zooming out to the daily time frame, this is actually the major line of resistance for Ethereum on this daily time frame once again. And this is potentially the line of resistance for a potential descending triangle pattern for Ethereum, as you can see. So it's actually quite important for Ethereum that we can start breaking above this level sometime soon, because if not, then potentially prices as low as 1800 US dollars could come into play once again. Now, of course, between now and then, we do have a bit of short-term support as well here for Ethereum. So zooming back into the four hour time frame, as you can see just here, we do actually have a bit of support at this area just here for Ethereum. That's coming in at roughly around 2000 US dollars, give or take. As you can see, that was previous resistance for Ethereum. And as I commonly mentioned in these videos, previous resistance after we break above it flips into new support. And we already actually retested that level as support, confirmed it as support and head back into my next exact level of resistance. So yeah, once again, if we cannot get above this level really soon, then I would actually expect Ethereum to come back down to roughly around 2000 US dollars as our next major level of support. Honestly, I'll probably give Ethereum around one to two days to potentially break above this level. And if we cannot break above this level within the next one to two days, then it is actually quite likely we're going to experience that little bit more downside price action in the short term once again. Because so far, when we do actually retest this level just here, we don't really spend that much time at this level. The longest amount of time that you could say we've spent at this level is right here. And that was roughly around four to five days, as you can see just there. But yeah, these previous times, it's basically been a quick little touch point and we basically come straight back to the downside. So what should we look out for if Ethereum does start to trade above that level just there, which by the way, once again, that's coming in at around 2.2K. If Ethereum starts breaking above that level, we need to really see the volume start picking up here, either a spike in volume or a surge in volume. Preferably, if we could get a retest of that level as well to confirm the breakout to the upside, that would be even even better, but also just some daily candle closes above that level, above 2.2K. That would be really good to see for the Ethereum bulls out there, but we do have a bit of short-term resistance at the previous high just here as well, coming in at around 2.4K. Really, if we can break above 2.4K, that's the level that I will be flipping really bullish on Ethereum over the next few weeks, potentially over the next couple of months. But of course, we have not seen that just yet, so we cannot get ahead of ourselves just yet because right now we are still below these areas of resistance. So basically, just remember remain flexible. Don't think that we're going to be playing out one and only scenario, but just be prepared for a bit of downside price action is what I'm saying. I am getting prepared for a bit of downside price action moving forward. If we do not see that, that's okay. But especially if Ethereum comes back down to roughly around 1800 US dollars, that is my accumulation zone where I will be accumulating a little bit more Ethereum. Now talking about the bearish scenario here, if we cannot get above this level and more importantly, if we cannot hold this important level just here, that's coming in at around 1700 US dollars approximately. That is huge support for Ethereum here on the daily time frame. So it is actually really important that we hold above 17 to 1800 US dollars. And if we cannot hold above that level, yes, we do have a bit of short term support here coming in at around 15 to 1600 US dollars. That's actually, by the way, the uptrend for Ethereum on this weekly time frame just here, as you can see on the logarithmic chart. But yeah, zooming back into the daily time frame, the technical price target for this descending triangle pattern, if you're measuring out in terms of a percentage 
move just here. That is around a 40% move to the downside approximately from that break line just there. So that would bring us down to potentially as low as around 1,000 to 1.1K. Now, do I think that Ethereum would really go that low? Honestly, that is actually very unlikely for Ethereum to go that low, even if we did break these important levels just here, because you have to consider the fact that fundamentally speaking, Ethereum is looking more bullish than ever. We have the London hard fork about to go ahead. The Ethereum improvement proposal 1559, which is going to restrict the supply of Ethereum, is going to reduce Ethereum's inflation rate. And then of course, we're going to be moving to proof of stake with Ethereum 2.0, potentially later this year, if not early next year. And of course, all of DeFi and NFTs, that is still a growing market as well. So fundamentally speaking, Ethereum is still looking quite bullish. The only thing that is looking bearish is the price. So that there, that is actually an opportunity because when the price is looking bearish, but the fundamentals are looking bullish, that gives you a great time to actually buy into Ethereum if you're holding for the longer term. So seriously, even if we do play out any sort of bearish scenario just here, I would only consider that as a buying opportunity for the longer term. Now quickly checking out the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart just here, giving you guys a quick update on what I'm thinking about this chart. Well, first of all, we are still obviously in this tightening range just here. So from where we are right now to the end of this triangle, the end of this tightening range, that's roughly around one and a half months. So honestly, it's very likely that within the next one month, we will actually exit this range just here, whether that's to the upside or to the downside, we will exit this range within the next one month approximately. And if we break the support just here, that's when we can actually activate the price target to the downside. And if we break the resistance just here, that's when we can activate the price targets to the upside. So first of all, this support once again is coming in at approximately 0.0555 Bitcoin per Ethereum. If we break below that level, with strong confirmation here on the chart, then the technical price target's coming in at approximately 0.046 Bitcoin per Ethereum. That's because that was a major level of resistance previously on this chart. And of course, when we break above resistance, that flips into new support. And not only that, as you can see just here, that is the golden pocket, the 61.8% Fibonacci level, the most important Fibonacci level for Ethereum versus Bitcoin just here. But once again, that price target only comes into play if we see a confirmed break below this exact level just here on the chart. Now, if we break the resistance just here to the upside. That's by the way, coming in at around 0.065 Bitcoin per Ethereum, give or take. If we break above that level of resistance just there, then of course that would mean Ethereum is choosing the bullish scenario just here. And that would mean that we can activate our bullish price target. So first of all, a potential area of resistance that I would be paying attention to is right here, the previous high at around 0.069 Bitcoin per Ethereum. If we could break above that high just there, that would actually be really bullish for Ethereum because obviously that would mean that we would have to be making higher highs if we're breaking above that high. And obviously higher highs is one of the first signs of a new uptrend. And as you can see, we've already seen a higher low on the chart just here on the daily time frame. So we're simply just waiting for a new higher high to confirm any sort of uptrend. Anything above that level, I would actually be targeting closer to these highs just here, but actually getting out a new price target for a potential pattern that is also forming on this chart just here. If you kind of squint your eyes and disregard this week just here, as you can see, we are potentially forming a massive inverse head and shoulders pattern for the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame. So once again, this is only if you apply a bit of a bullish bias, because that would mean that you would have to get rid of this wick just here on the left shoulder. But yeah, as you can see, we've seen the left shoulder, we've seen the head and we've seen the right shoulder if you're looking at the daily candle closes. So of course the breakout line is the same level of resistance as this descending triangle just here. And the technical price target, if we break out of that level just there, that is coming in at approximately 0 0.081 Bitcoin per Ethereum. So from the point of the breakout just there to that price target, that is around a 24% gain for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. So that's not just Ethereum versus the US dollar, that is Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin by 24%. Once again, if we can see a confirmed break above this exact level of resistance just here. Now checking out the chain link to US dollar chart on the one day time frame. For you longer term subscribers out there, I have previously covered Chainlink on the YouTube channel because Chainlink is actually my third biggest crypto holding. Right now, my biggest crypto holdings goes Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then Chainlink. And that's simply because in my opinion, Chainlink is actually very undervalued at the current prices. And it's also something that fundamentally speaking, we need moving forward in the entire crypto market. We need an Oracle platform like Chainlink to actually feed in real world data into smart contracts. As the entire crypto market progresses into the future, this is something that we actually need. Need. Now, of course, for the beginners out there, always do your own research. Don't just buy something if I'm talking about it. Make sure 
you understand what you're buying into before you buy into it because there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that just cover random altcoins that might turn out to be pretty worthless in the end. So please make sure you're doing your own research as well. But yeah, with that being said, let's actually get into what I have to say about Chainlink. First of all, as you can see just here on the daily time frame, we are potentially starting to break out of this falling wedge pattern. Now we haven't really seen much confirmation on the chart just yet, but as you can see for the past couple of months, we have been forming a massive falling wedge pattern for Chainlink. And by the way, a falling wedge pattern, technically speaking, is a bullish pattern. So technically speaking, it's more likely to break to the upside than it is to break to the downside. It's not impossible for it to break to the downside. It's just more likely to break to the upside. And the technical price target for a falling wedge, if we break to the upside just here, is the top of the wedge. So that's coming in at roughly around $34 to $35, as you can see just here. And from the current price to that price target, that is around a 110% gain for Chainlink. And by the way, from the current price to the all-time high, that is around a 230% gain for Chainlink. So that is also another reason why I am accumulating Chainlink at the current prices. Now, I don't actually expect those price targets to come into play in the immediate short term, talking about, you know, the next one to two weeks, but especially if Bitcoin can see a recovery to the upside, talking about the next couple months, that's when I would expect those sort of prices to potentially come into play for Chainlink. Because if we're looking at some previous price action here to actually see what happens during these corrections. As you can see just here, in the last major correction for Chainlink, that was actually back in around August, September 2020. And by the way, that crash just there in the Chainlink price actually crashed Chainlink around 65% to the downside. So that was actually a pretty significant crash for Chainlink. It took the price from around $20 down towards around $7, as you can see just here. And if you're actually paying attention to the price action itself during that correction just there, leading into the bottom, as you can see just there, we were actually forming a pretty perfect falling wedge pattern back in the last major correction for Chainlink. As you can see just there, we formed a very similar falling wedge pattern to what we're forming right now on the chart. And then of course, as soon as we started breaking out of that pattern to the upside just here, we saw a nice little spike in volume on the daily time frame, confirming the break to the upside. And by the way, when the price was actually bottoming out here for Chainlink at around $7, give or take, the RSI on the daily time frame was actually slightly dipping into these oversold areas, as you can see just here on the daily time frame. Going back to the current day, as you can see just here, we have actually slightly reached these same oversold areas on the daily time frame for Chainlink just here. Right now, all we are doing is waiting to see some sort of confirmation for the break to the upside out of this pattern, a decent little spike in volume or a retest of this level. If we can hold these levels to the upside, that will actually be really good for Chainlink. Of course, more downside price action is not impossible for Chainlink, especially if Bitcoin and Ethereum start crashing again to the downside, that's likely to actually pull Chainlink down with them. But once again, especially if Bitcoin and Ethereum see a nice recovery here moving forward, then that is really going to help Chainlink recover here as well. And the gains coming out of Chainlink once the market flips bullish again will be a lot bigger than the gains that you'll get in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Once again, make sure you are doing your own research as well. This is just from my perspective, my opinion and my strategy. And by the way, if you've been following me over on my Twitter, the link to my Twitter is in the description down below. I have actually been telling you guys over on my Twitter that I have been accumulating into Chainlink right at this exact bottom just here was when I actually sent out that tweet. So if you want to get extra alerts and extra content throughout the day, definitely check out my Twitter. The link to my Twitter is in the description. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you got something valuable out of this video that you can take away and help make yourself some money in these crypto markets. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. I seriously appreciate all the support on the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough and be sure to check out a couple of the videos that you see here popping up right now. But that's just about everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.